All right, so I'm back finally with some more videos for you. I'm gonna be doing this whole series on this car, um, start to finish of just the sheet metal process. It is a 68 Fastback, and it was originally a six cylinder car, it still has the four lug rear in it. Front end I cut off whenever I went and picked this car up to make it fit on my trailer with another car. Um, if you follow me from way back, you would have seen one of those pictures where I had two Fastbacks on a 18 foot car trailer. So that was a little bit fun, but gonna walk around this one, show you what I'm starting with, show you some of the pieces that I got. Um, it's actually gonna get a Mustangs to Fear front suspension um, and all new metal pretty much top to bottom, except for the inner structure. And this one is already sold, so no, it's not available, but uh, you can still watch the process of me start to finish of the shell from where you see it here. So let's take a walk around the car, show you what I'm starting with, and then I'll show you some of the pieces I have in this garage. Some of them are in the other garage, but we'll show you what we have here. And let's check it out. walk around you can see pretty much everything's getting changed on this car um, I'll just go over just a quick list of things that are going to be done full quarters taillight panel obviously because none of that's there uh, it's getting a one-piece supreme floor one of those ones that has both rear rails attached to that transition the whole way up to the firewall and rear window panel I'm going to be doing the roof most likely because I'm going to do roof rail uh, channels and they're connected under the roof it's getting doors, outer rockers, the wheelhouses, it has a tub kit for it, a mini tub kit that I'm gonna be putting it in. Cow side panels, uh, upper and lower cow, full firewall, torque boxes, both sides, because it's 68, and same thing from this side. Also, it's gonna need B pillars. You can see how they're rotted out, and it does have some rust in the A pillars, but I'm gonna patch that because most of it's really good. But that's the starting point of the shell. Some of the pieces here, this is the main cool piece. Uh, it is a Mustangs to Fear front K-member kit. It's actually the full front rails attached to their floor support. It's all one piece here welded the whole way back to basically a subframe connector that ties into the rear rails. So that'll be pretty cool because this will go together fairly quickly especially with this frame because this will be like the second piece that I put on I'll most likely do the cow section first then I'll cut out for the one piece floor set the body on the one piece floor and then I'll bolt this up in place which will be nice because I'll just bolt the rear trailing subframe connector into that bolt hole for the rear frame rail that'll be on the one piece floor and that'll come all the way up and line up with the floor transmission cross member that's in that floor already and then all I gotta do is set the height on my rails and um, make sure that they're straight but it is a pretty cool looking kit this is the first Mustangs to Fear one that I have done um, so I'm looking forward to that some of the other pieces here got a dash door headlight buckets um, rad support that's also from Mustangs to Fear and that's the cowl in there, cowl side panels, floor pans, pretty much all the starting stuff that I'll need. And then I have quarters sitting in a different spot just so they don't take up space in the small garage here. But uh, that's my starting point. And it's rough, but it'll be cool to see it come alive here. So my next video is just gonna be me starting on just the disassembly of what's remaining left on the car. Um, the glass, that door, 
the interior stuff that's still just hanging in there, get the rear out of it, just take it down to a bare steel shell, and then I'll start cutting apart from there. Like I said, I'll most likely do the cal area, cal side panels, um, get them fitted to outer rockers, possibly. Um, I might just drop the floor pan in before that and then line outer rockers up to that. But, gonna get started on it this week. Um, so stay tuned for those videos. Unlike the other videos I said I'd be making, these ones I will do because this is my current project, so I have no choice. Um, so I will have videos up on that until this one is done. This is the one that I'm on until it's done. So I'll put up some GoPros, capture some of the actual work that's going on, and throw it into a video. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Just a starter intro to this 68, but there'll be more to come. So stay tuned for those ones, and thanks for watching.